Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Really excited for today's video. It's actually a dual unboxing video. Uh, I have a box from Sean from NerdSense and from Violent by Design, which I'm assuming is a Jedi Mind Trick reference. Um, I know... I know-ish what's in each box. Uh, we'll do Violent by Designs because that's the one that's closest to me. Um, so he had reached out. We were doing a different unboxing, uh, a live stream, Sean and I. And uh, and Violent by Design was like, oh, you want that beer? And I thought I was talking about something else. And it's like, this beer I really want. And uh, he's like, yeah. And I said, like, yeah, if you really, you know, can hook me up, contact me offline. And, um, you know, he really hooked me up. And it's another half beer. Um, and then he said he's going to throw in some other stuff. So I'm thinking it looks like some other half stuff. <laughs> anyway, get into it. Good packaging, by the way. All right, this is... Ooh, it's... <laughs> nice. This is not other half. This is a beer I've not had, but a brewery I've had a lot from and done a lot of reviews on. Uh, it actually used to be about... 15 minutes from my house, and now it's about two hours from my house. This is Cosmic Dust Double New England IPA, 8.3% uh, ABV from Beer Tree out of Port Crane, New York. Uh, let's see, does it say anything else? Doesn't say hops or anything like that, but very cool. I think I positioned the camera in an angle where I can use most of this table, so hopefully it's not cutting off right now. So this one is another other half uh, that I've not had. Mystic Greens Imperial India Pale Ale, ten percent ABV, um, and like the beer tree, they don't have like, hey, here's what hops, what hops are in it. It's pretty cool. It, the can art reminds me a little bit of like those old school 3D images where you had to like cross your eyes to see. Um, all right, this one has one of the beers. That, like, I knew I was getting, and I'll talk about that more in a sec. Because he really went above and beyond, uh, which I really appreciate. But, again, I'll talk about that more in a second. Another other half beer, uh, Cream of Broccoli. I've not had this one. Double Dry Hopped Imperial Oat Cream India Pale Ale, 7.9% ABV. Again, with the canard, just, you know, cream. They're, them and their broccoli. <laughs> cream of Broccoli. All right, here's the one that was, like... A top want for me because uh, I've not been able to try it yet it's other half and Genesee collaborating it's dream ale so it's their you know Jenny cream ale and then like basically they made like an IPA out of it um, does this have any more information on the side does not it doesn't have the ABV HDHC so that's cool um, yeah I don't see ABV or anything And it's about two and a half weeks old. All right, so this is the one that Sean, Sean had got this in an unboxing. I was like, short, long story short, I'm like, oh man, I'm like, that's, I'm so jealous. That's awesome. Like that's maybe a, probably like a top five beer I want to try. And, um, and that's when Violent by Design was like, you know, hey, I could hook you up. Again, I thought he was talking about a different beer. And Sean's like, no, I think he means this one. And he's like, no, I mean this one. And uh, so he got at me on Instagram, and he said he had some, or I forget how he worded it, but I was like, is there any way I could get four of them? Like, if you don't have enough, that's totally fine, but um, I'd love to have one to review, uh, one to enjoy off camera, and, uh, you know, because, like, I enjoy doing the reviews, obviously, but it is a little bit of, it's not the same thing as just, like, sitting and, re you know, relaxing, unwinding for the day and having a beer. And then the other two... Uh, it's my grandparents' anniversary coming up. At the time, it was two weeks. Now it's uh, about a week and a half away. And I'm going to see them. And they crush Jenny Cream Ale. Like, they love that beer. They drink a lot of that beer. But they also love IPAs. So, like, this just seems like such a cool anniversary present, you know? So the, so the thought of, like, me being able to give them two so they could each have their own can. And he's just like, yeah, I can swing four. That's fine. So, like... Having gone from, oh, I'm not going to try this batch either. I think it was like a year ago when they last brewed it. To I can review one, enjoy one, and give two away to my grandparents. Who, like, I think are going to freak out. You know, like, really special. 
Um, so the one package has two of these, so I won't do that. This one has one of these, the fourth one, and then a different beer, so I will talk about the different beer, but I won't, <laughs> I won't open all four of the uh, Dream Owls. I'm thinking this might be another other half beer. Yep. This has a, this has like a tiki looking uh, label. Uh, other half Escapist Daydream Painkiller Cocktail Inspired Imperial Berliner Weiss, eight percent. Very cool. And uh, about a m not quite a month old at this time. Let's see. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a month old. Very cool can art. I love that. And it's you know it's early August right now, early to mid August, and you know temperatures are hot. So this will be a nice beer. Then there's a bottle. What's this bottle all about? Make it Dove. I've heard of them. What? Come on. Barrel-aged Russian Imperial Stout. And they're out of Canandaigua, Canandaigua uh, New York. What? That's amazing. It's from 2019. It's number 72. So I don't know how, I mean, if they're hand, like, it's handwritten. So if they're handwriting the year um, and the number of the bottle, makes me think probably not a lot of these got out there. That's awesome. Wonder what kind of barrel it is. Further investigation is required, but like, that's awesome. Just a very beautiful, sleek kind of design. Super high fill, love that. All right, thank you so much. Obviously, goes without saying, that was amazing. Um, I guess since this was like the catalyst of this, I gotta keep that up front. All right, here's some stuff from Sean. Again, from Nerd Science, make sure you check out Sean. So, I know there's Black and Beautiful beers, um, and he also did a, a, a real ah, cool mystery beer. <laughs> He also did me a super solid, just like Violent by Design, um, he was able to get the Trillium collab with um, White Lion and, uh, uh, Trillium, sorry, Trillium and White Lion. He was able to get that collab, and it's not like you, it was easy to get plenty of it, but I was like, hey, do you mind sending me two? Because my friend Jerome and I are trying to get as many as we can, and then we're going to trade each other, and, um... Uh, Drome actually even homebrewed it, uh, followed the recipe, and I think he's going to do it again. He's going to soak wood chips in Uncle Nearest whiskey and make like an, a, a, a whiskey oak chipped uh, variant of it, uh, which is cool. But anyway, so Sean's like, yeah, of course I'll send another one. So I got two of these, and uh, here's what they did with it. It's blended in pale stout with uh, Papua New Guinea vanilla beans. You know I'm the vanilla police. I love vanilla. 10.7% ABV, and this is like, is this a week old even? If, I'm, if today's the day I think it is, it's exactly a week old. So that's sick. And I know I'm not, I'm not going to tell Jerome. I'm just going to, unless he watches this, I'm going to surprise him. And we see a mystery beer. This is awesome. You know, I love doing mystery beers. And um, you know, I've been trying on Tuesdays to test my palate in different ways. And mystery beers are such a good way to do that. So obviously I really appreciate that, Sean. And uh, this one, I can't see inside of it. Hmm. I don't want to knock anything over. Oh, and there's a little, well, this one's easy. The little, little baby way. You get so used to these six ounce cans. The 12, yeah, little baby mystery beer. Uh, you know, I love 12 ounce cans, especially if it's a higher ABV. All right. I don't want to pierce this. I think I know what this is. Because he told me about a little, they missed an exit, but that, by, but by missing an exit on a, I'm sorry, they were traveling by car, and they missed an exit, but then they ended up near a brewery, and Sean was like, hey, wait, let's stop at this brewery. So I think I know what this is. Actually, I think I, I bet I know everything that's in here. All right. <laughs> I had, okay. <laughs> um, there was a goof in a group text to do a mystery beer um, where the label wasn't on it. Uh, there is some tape at the bottom, which either means it tells you what the beer is or, um, 
it just might give you a hint because it you know has like an expression that is specific to a brewery. Uh, <laughs> Besides this one, uh, further investigation is required. And I got to ask Sean how he wants me to do that. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I did not anticipate this. But these are what I was thinking was in here. Um, since I was talking about the uh, missed exit. So, they missed the exit, which put them close to Lord Hobo. So, he stopped and got a Black is Beautiful from Lord Hobo. 7% ABV. Doesn't say anything about adjuncts. Um, so they, they did it to recipe and it just came out lower because their base recipe would get it at 10%. Or if they did tweak it on purpose to lower the ABV. And then this one is from, uh, excuse me, Aeronaut Brewing Company out of Somerville, Massachusetts. I spent time in Somerville. My friend uh, Kevin used to live there. It's a cool area. Uh, I don't think I had ever gone to this brewery. That would I might be before this brewery was even open. I'd have to look. This is Oatmeal Stout is what they did. 6.2% ABV. Um, nothing wrong with doing lower ABVs. I think we're going to do some live streams like we've been doing. Uh, Sean, uh, Mike from NerdSense, and Matt from Massive Beer Reviews. And I think we're going to do... Uh, I didn't really... I, I just... I, I had noticed this before when I saw it posted online. I did, just now I didn't even notice that it's not like that. It's like this. Um, but these are some of the beers we'll do in live streams. Um, and uh, I just got a message back. I'm trying to get Marcus from Weathered Souls on one of these live streams. Might be a separate live stream. Might be when we're drinking one of these. But he got back to me. He said he'd love to do it. So I sent him back. A this is all very fresh. I, I just sent him back a message like, you know, hey, what you know, what days or time of days are, are better for you and we can accommodate. So just sent that off. So we'll see what he has to say. But anyway, pretty epic. Pretty amazing. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm super excited. Uh, uh, as people know, I'm trying to do as many of these as possible, let alone the mystery beers. Like, that's awesome from Sean. And again, check out Sean at NerdSense. Um, and then, Bound by Design, I mean, can I sing the praises high enough? Uh, not only helping me with a beer I you know, really wanted to try and missed out the first time they did it, but now I have plenty to even, you know, give as a gift. Some other half, and I haven't reviewed other half in a while. I don't, yeah, I think it's been a while. So that's really rad. A, a total surprise barrel aged stout. Come on, and then a, a local brewery back from where I used to live with one I haven't had. It doesn't get any better than this short version. So yeah, thanks both of you guys. And this is just amazing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram and on Tap. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, beer be awesome beer people. Cheers.